Okay, is it in focus? I don't know. Do you guys notice a camera quality difference? Um, I got a real camera. I'm really excited about it to say the least. Um, my sister gave it to me, so shout out. Okay, so for today's first video on the camera, I thought I would just do a low-key um, Q&A. So I did a poll, not a poll, I'm so dumb. I did like a ask me question thing. I keep looking at myself rather than the thing, sorry. This is gonna have to take some getting used to. So I asked you guys questions on my Instagram. My Instagram is Maddie Brienne. Follow me because um, I'm always on Instagram and that's where you can see like more of my life or if you'd like to see that. I realized that you guys really don't know anything about me. So I thought like, just ask me some questions and I'll answer them because my channel is relatively new. So <laughs> Powden Studios said, would you ever do more makeup slash skincare videos in the future? I would love to do more um, makeup videos in the future because I love makeup, but I wear the same makeup every day. So if I switch something up, then I probably would um, do another makeup video. Skincare, probably not, just because I don't really have a skincare. And my skin isn't even that great as it is. So you probably wouldn't be interested in what I do. Shayla, Shyla, Shyla, Curran, Curran, sorry. Um, are you going to college? If so, what do you want to major in? So yes, I am going to college. Um, I haven't decided yet. I'm still applying, but I know that that is what I'm going to be doing. Going to college, I am majoring in dance. I'm applying every single school I apply to, I'm applying for a major in dance. So that's what I want to do with my life. Chloe Mitch asked Roblox versus Minecraft. Um, you see, Roblox and Minecraft are two different things and I don't want anyone to be like oh my god you're copying Antonio Garza because of Roblox like this is that's just not the case they're the both of them are really different because I feel like Roblox has a bunch of like mini games I don't know but anyways I'm not gonna explain long story short Minecraft why <laughs> oh oh Oshi Oshia Sophie asked why is your school so small and kind of looks like a house <laughs> um yeah all facts um my school is small it's a private school so it's very small and it looks like a house because it used to be a house <laughs> so ben.esper asked will you come visit me next year in nyc yes i will i'm literally in love with you ben i miss you so much jj zeher i don't know how to Say it. I'm sorry, Jordan. Um, everyone subscribe to her channel. Mm -mm, she's iconic. She's a skinny legend. How long have you been dancing for? I have been dancing since I was two years old. So and then she asked again, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Okay. My one superpower would be invisibility. You could do so much with that. What I think is like, I could sneak into any concert. I could sneak into a pit concert if I wanted to. I would never have to pay for a concert ticket again because I could just sneak into the pit right? I know. Like, if people who would like, if, would you rather be invisible or fly? And people like, fly? Are you kidding me? If you were invisible, then you could just be invisible and sneak on a plane and go somewhere. Like, you could go anywhere you wanted if you were invisible. I digress. If you're comfortable, when did you know that you were gay and what was it like coming up? Okay. The, the questions were happening in middle school more of eighth grade because that's when I got obsessed with American Horror Story and Sarah Paulson and Sarah Paulson was my awakening so that's when I started like questioning and I was like mm -hmm. hmm. freshman year was when I was finally like okay yeah um what was it like coming out when I told like my friends and stuff people were like we know <laughs> and i was like i was i was shook to the core i was like you know how and i uh, no maybe because you talk about sarah paulson 
24-7 and about how pretty she is 24-7 and I'm like I don't know what that was and I was like well I don't I just don't know how, how you guys see that I'm, I'm a little confused and they were like it's it's obvious and I was like I'm sweating I was like favorite TV couple let's talk about it baby Foxy from American Horror Story oh my god okay so um Cordelia Fox or her last name's good now so but we're still calling the ship name Foxy can this dog stop barking um Cordelia Good and Misty Day, they are my two legends. Um, so this was like prime eighth grade. I was shipping this gay couple, but I was like, I don't think I'm gay. Yeah, okay, okay, Maddie, okay. They're just iconic. And if you guys aren't watching Apocalypse, what are you doing with your life? Like you need to watch Apocalypse because Misty Day's back, baby. I post pictures of them all the time on my Instagram story, so follow me. Um, these are all from Jordan, by the way. What is your natural hair color? My natural hair color is blonde. It's just not this blonde. It's like dirty blonde. So I just dye it like really blonde. Who would you choose between meeting Sarah Paulson or Harry Styles? Oh my god, Sarah Paulson. Of course you. Y'all know I love Harry, but um, I would have to meet Sarah just because... Okay, so a thing about me that everyone knows, if you know me, is that I get obsessed with things very, very easily. So right now, my obsession phase is like Harry Styles. But I know that like in a little while, like it's going to like taper out of it. While my obsession, I have two constants in my life, really. So I'm obsessed with a bunch of things, but at the same time, I'm also obsessed with two other things. And that is Lady Gaga. I've been obsessed with Lady Gaga since I was seven years old. I haven't stopped. I will never stop. She, I just can't put into words how much Lady Gaga means to me. Facts only. And my other constant is Sarah Paulson. Um, I've been obsessed with Sarah Paulson since seventh grade, I believe. Eighth grade, seventh. Um, so yeah, I've been obsessed with her very, very, for, uh, I can't say. I've been obsessed with her for a very, very long time. She is amazing. She is such an icon. She is such an icon, like, for the gay community. It just... It's amazing. I love her so much. I love her so much. <laughs> I love her so much! Favorite and least favorite subject in school? My favorite subject is English. And my least favorite subject is math. I literally don't know basic math. It's an issue, so we're not gonna get into it. <laughs> which Harry song do you like most and which 1D song? My favorite Harry song, mm, if we're talking about released Harry song, I really like Only Angel and From the Dining Table, but I love Medicine too, but there's no studio version of that. And my favorite 1D song, <sighs> Walking in the Wind. Like that song deserves so much more. <sighs> Favorite Disney film? Does Lemonade Mouth count? <laughs> because it's a Disney Channel original movie and it's their best original movie ever. I'm, I will literally fight this till the day I die. Lemonade Mouth is better than High School Musical. Lemonade Mouth is better than Camp Rock. Don't come for me. What's your least favorite color? I don't think I have a least favorite color. I guess like brown? I don't know. Jesse Chadwick asked that. How did you get the courage to start your channel? From Elsa Kemp, I believe it's called, your username is. Um, I just would always film YouTube videos on my phone and then not post them. Or I would like edit them and then not post them. So then one day I was like, I d why don't I just post it? And my sister is always like, you should make a YouTube channel. And all my friends are like, you should make a YouTube channel. So I was like, okay. Uh, C six Thurin um asked where would you love to travel and why i would love to travel to london because i've been there before and i want to go back really bad and my plan is after college i will move there so i'd love to travel there again neil hart asked sarah paulson or sarah paulson really good question um really hard for me to answer but i i'm gonna have to go with sarah paulson cowden studio asked are you an artist um, I wouldn't call, well, like, yeah, dance is an art. I'm an artist, because I dance, but 
if you're talking like artist i love art i do art i'm in portfolio um i think i'm decent at it but i don't think i'm at the level of like skill that i would be like oh yes i'm an artist let me paint this for you like that's not how it works i just do it for fun L I dot N Z, so like Lindsay, but there's a dot 23. What's your favorite makeup brand? My favorite makeup brand is Milk Makeup. Y'all, y'all know my obsession with Milk Makeup if you've seen my um, makeup tutorials. And Glossier. Ginger Cross is where are you from? Um, I get a lot of questions about this because of my room tour. Um, everyone thinks some people said it. Some people said it looks like grease. I'm literally from Massachusetts, so <laughs> not exciting at all. What kind of dance do you do? I do everything except for tap and like Irish step. Um, I did do tap for a little bit, but I'm god awful at it, so I just gave up. <laughs> but don't take that advice from me, you guys. Never give up. <laughs> But I gave up. What is your favorite clothing store? My favorite clothing store. Oh, it's from Katie underscore daily 411. Um, what is your favorite clothing store? My favorite clothing store is Brandy Melville. I'm obsessed with Brandy Melville. My one dream in life is to be a Brandy Melville model. Like if I had one wish, it would be that. Like to be that. Not Gemma asked. Top three favorite musicians number one lady gaga forever and always number two number two stevie nicks forever and always she's a legend um number three oh, I, I love so many musicians this is hard to like pick three but like if we're talking like my top forever it'll be lady gaga stevie nicks and then probably Harry right now. I go through, like, as I said, obsessions. So, like, right now it'd be Harry, but then maybe one day I'll replace it with Lana, and then maybe one day I'll replace it with Marina and the Diamonds. I don't know. The third one, there's a wiggle room, but my first two will always be Lady Gaga and Stevie Nicks. That seems to be all of the questions. Um, thanks for watching!